Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here for our Crafty Gold collaboration with Amalia and every month we highlight what we did the month before and maybe share a few of our goals for the next month or the present month as the case may be. Let me get started. This is my calendar that I use and I thought I would start decorating it up a little bit to make it easier on the eyes. <laughs> so let me start with the first project of the month. It's always the uh, Show Us Your Sheet Load uh, from Call Me Crafty Owl. And the collaboration team, we all put up our videos on the second of the month. And this is what I we did for for June. This was the sketch, and I thought it was really cute. It's got it's got all the flags, and I used the butterfly paper, and I did the stamp. So there's my project for that. And then we had the crafty goals Saturday the sixth. And then I also uploaded. Part two of my Club Echo Park uh, cards five through ten. I did the one through five the week before. So this was five through ten. This is one from that, and it's fun folds. And then on, then I just shoot on Mondays and Tuesdays. Then for the ten on the tenth, I used the Martha Stewart collection snowflakes. I also used the June sketch from Show Us Your Sheet Load. The beautiful flags and then the different colors. Blue, silver, white. Then on the 11th, I made embellishments. And I don't know if I have, oh, I have one. <laughs> Here's one of the embellishments that I made. These are out of the uh, Hero Arts card kit from 2017. I made a bunch of embellishments. And then on the 13th, I used them in cards. This is Seize Today. And these are the elements that I used. The embellishments. Got the Pretty Little Mermaid, and then I use a Nouveau Drop to make the pearl, and the Little Clownfish, and the Angelfish. And then on the 17th, I made my dad's Father's Day card. I will put that up here, so you can see that. And then, then on the 19th, um, I had a job snafu, so... So then on the 20th, I did a crafty haul from scrapbook.com. And I will go ahead and put that picture up here too. So you can see that. And then on the 24th, I did what I called the rest of the kit. Because in my first Club Echo Park series, 10 cards, one kit, I didn't use any of the chipboard stickers or anything. So... So here we go. Stickers. Stickers. And then I use Nuvo Drops. And this is one of the four sketches I used for the cards. And again, like I said, on my days off, I go ahead, that's when I do my creating. My shooting. So that was that one. And then on the 25th, we had smash that small paper pad, and I used roses. This was a unique pattern paper in that the pattern is the same. It's just different colors. So it was interesting to try to find things that matched. Were, were monochromatic, different values and hues. So this is one type that I made. I did vellum butterflies, and then I used Nouveau Drops. But anyway, 
this is one way that I cut the paper. And then on this one, I made a diagonal so that you could see the, the rose embossing. So I'll be doing more of that the 25th of this month. And so July 4th, uh, Saturday the 27th, I used the rest of the Independence Day paper from Echo Park. This one I wasn't real thrilled with because there was pattern on pattern. It was a little bit too much, but I popped these up on foam tape. And this is a stamp, all over stamp I have. And then, um, on the 28th, um, we had a memorial service for a square dance friend. So I created some more. And these are my mermaid cards from Authentique. And this one, um, I had it sitting because I put Nuvo drops on and they had to dry. But these are the White Blizzard Nuvo drops and I had them all over. So I thought they made for a cute card. And then last but not least, what we just finished up Sorry about that. I didn't turn the page. We just finished up our July Show Us Your Sheet Load. Here's the card. Tasty Treats. She had us put one in the inside this time and to cut the card base shorter so that we could highlight that. Here's Enjoy Your Special Day and the cake. I picked this one because this is just gorgeous. If it doesn't make you want to go get a piece of cake, I don't know what will. Sorry about that. But it looks really good. So these are going to be birthday cards, of course. And I just haven't stamped the inside yet. So, so we're here now. The word is relax. <laughs> so it's going to be very interesting to see if I can do that. Because I just got a job. I was actually, uh, I actually talked to the man the first. And he's supposed to call me sometime today. And then I'm supposed to go in tomorrow. Now, I just put in pencil. Upload, 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 upload. Because obviously, when I do the thing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put exactly what it is. So that I can remember. <laughs> and again, I decorated it. Just to give something different to look at. The 10th is going to be Christmas cards. Um, I will probably use some more of the Martha Stewart set. And then the 11th, embellishments. And then the next upload after that will be cards made with those embellishments. I am so sorry. I just saw the email today that on starting with the 11th, we're going to be doing Christmas and Summer with Dawn Holmes of Dawn Age Creates. And so that's going to be a lot of fun. So that'll be something extra to do on Saturdays. And then the, on the 25th, I'm going to smash that small paper bat again. And I'm going to go ahead and finish the roses. If you saw, where did I put it? The diagonal here? Well, there's obviously another piece of diagonal that I'm going to go ahead and use and finish up. So I do have a collaboration with a friend of mine. We're going to see how that goes. And like I said, with my new job schedule, we'll just see how it goes. So thank you so much for joining me. As always, there's a list of the the other fine collaborators that are also wanting to put up their crafty goals. So please visit them and see what they did and what they are doing. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.